Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I thought February would be a great time to have this video surface on your home pages. Hopefully it's on your home pages. So today I want to talk about 2024 goals. We're a month into the year and if you set some at the start of the year, you might be lacking a little motivation to keep going or you have fallen off and so I'm hoping I can re-inspire you today to recommit to them and we can continue on into 2024 with the right foot forward. I'm going to be resetting mine completely. So on the theme of resetting, I have put together a little montage of me resetting my space to uh, help motivate us as I talk through what I'm going to talk through today. need to reset all of your goals but to simply revisit them and recommit to them unfortunately that's not the case for myself i was informed last week that my full-time job will be eliminated at the start of april which is a bummer you know that means my benefits will be gone i may no longer be able to work from home i've been working this job um, from my home for three years and really enjoying the balance it's provided me so things will definitely be changing for me in this new year. Thankfully, I do have a few months to really devote to ensuring it changes in a way that I prefer, since I've got two months to really just, you know, face to the grindstone, whatever that phrase is, <laughs> and ensure that what I want to come to fruition will. So first and foremost, the first goal of mine is I want to land a design artist role design and or artist role within an industry I'm passionate about. I'm leaning towards the like, gaming and, anima and animation industries. There are tons of different artistic roles within each like company in that field. So I'm hoping giving myself that like wide range um, will help send one my way and that I really am passionate about. There's like character design, there's concept artists, there's environmental artists, there's color, um, mood artists. There's, there's so, so much in that realm. And I think I would really be interested in any of those things. Animation, something I find myself watching all of the time um, in all, all forms, like anime, animation, cartoons, um, Pixar, all of that stuff. So in order to land that first goal of mine, it actually leads straight into the goal number two, which is develop a portfolio with a clear direction and voice. So how I'm planning right now to dive into this is a couple of ways. One, I'm gonna just search for some jobs that I would like to apply for and create specific artwork for those jobs. Whether I hit the deadline I'm applying to them right now or not, um, the first goal is just to develop artwork for that kind of work so that, you know, I have a little bit of a um, inventory, maybe is the best way to say it, of it. I'm also helping my brother develop a game so I can use the artwork and the concept arts that I'm putting together for him in my portfolio as well, since that's um, that should hit a little bit of everything because I'm his only art point of view at the moment. So I, I will be helping develop like the landscaping, the characters, the mood, all of that stuff. So that'll be a great jumping off point for my second goal of the 2024 year, which is phenomenal. The third goal isn't as physical as the first two. It's more of a mental mentality, emotional, I don't know, you know, it's more of an inward inward goal of mine. I'm 28 and I've been unable to put my artwork out there confidently. So the third goal is to trust my own creative eye and voice more than I have been. Um, I've never actually applied to the job that I would actually see myself doing or that I've actually wanted to do. I've always held myself back by saying I'm not quite good enough yet. I just need to keep working and then maybe Next year, I'll be better and I'll be able to apply for these jobs then and actually have a chance. I think that's where the the imposter syndrome really kicks in. So yeah, just doing some work internally to come to like get over those hunches because I need to be able to apply to these jobs if that's what I want to do. <laughs> you know, it's pretty, 
pretty self-explanatory, Devin. So that's, that's goal number three. And I'm sure if you're a creative, um, you can relate to that. I think it's something a lot of us kind of struggle with. So if you have any tips, if you've gone through it and you've overcome that imposter syndrome, um, I'd love to hear, uh, you know, your suggestions, tips, tricks, all that stuff. If you want to put them down below, I'll for sure be reading through them. Um, and then moving on to my last big goal I have for 2024 has to do with this channel and my other social media platforms. So I'm going to be diving deeper into the content creator shtick than I ever have before in the next couple of months. So I do have two full months, right? Like I said, to figure out what's going to be happening and then for the rest of the year. So I've never fully utilized Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube to the like best of their abilities or my abilities. So we'll see how a continuous posting, continuously posting on each platform goes. I've got videos planned, content made, schedules all lined up. So this last goal is like a short, short goal because it may only last two months, but hopefully it continues on. You know what I mean? We will see. If you're still hanging out here, I'd appreciate a like on the video and a subscribe if you're curious to see how I get on <laughs> with these goals I've laid out for myself. If you're just curious to see how a 28 year old is going to navigate potentially losing um, work for a little while and you know, still being able to afford the home she's purchased and the car she owes money on and her dog and all that stuff, you know, hang out a while, see, see how I, how I scrape by. Cause I will, I, um, very positive person, very much am a believer of things happen to you for a reason kind of a thing. So I am being very optimistic about the fact that I am losing my job in a couple months. It took me about, because I am such an optimistic person, it did take me a week and a half, two weeks to have it like sink in that, oh yeah, I'm like losing that. It's not just something I'm choosing to do, like it's being taken away from me, um, which is a bummer when you think of it that way. But like I said, everything happens for a reason. So it's lighting a fire under my ass lighting a fire under my bum to really kick it into gear and work my little tail off to get what I want um, out of my life. So hang out if you want, subscribe so you can see what comes next. Just follow me over on Instagram and Twitch because both those places I'm gonna be very active on as well. And Twitch streaming is obviously gonna be much more <laughs> like just line of consciousness less planned out because it is just live and me sitting there. I do co-working. So sometimes it's just me chatting and doing work. And then sometimes it's me gaming and sometimes it's me doing art. So all that stuff is going on over there. Instagram. I'm planning on doing a bunch of like cozy aesthetic things with my home and with my art and with the gaming. So all of it's going to be combined over there then obviously this channel is going to be that as well. So I'll be doing some playthroughs. I'm going to post on here and I'm going to be doing some artwork stuff like that portfolio building and some of that game artwork that I mentioned before for the goals. I'm going to be filming the processes and processes is, is, <laughs> and putting them on here too. So lots to look forward to. I hope to see you guys again. Thank you for watching. Uh, and wish me luck. <laughs> Bye.